Hi everybody. So hockey season is getting pretty close and it's about that time to start having your kids mouth guards made. I know uh, we here at the Parisian Denture Clinic, we're going to be putting on our uh, mouth guard clinic at the Harrow Arena in just a few weeks. So I thought I'd take some time just to show everybody exactly how a mouth guard's made. So first of all, what we do is we take an impression of the mouth. Uh, from that impression, we end up with a stone model. And this is basically a duplicate of the mouth. Uh, so we trim it up to be nice and thin. And from here, then we grab the mouth guard blank that we uh, are going to be using. A lot of them come in uh, square sheets like this. The ones that we use are round. But uh, we choose the color that the child wants and then we go on to making it. All right, so here is how the mouth guard itself is actually made. Uh, this is the little machine, uh, it's called a mini star. Um, this is the machine that actually makes the mouth guard. So we've got obviously the model here. Uh, over on this side here, here's the actual mouth guard material. Now, up here, what there is, is there's this big heater. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that over right now, and that is gonna start to heat up the mouth guard blank. It's gonna start to basically melt it. Um, and so after a certain amount of time, it's got a little counter on here, after a certain amount of time, it'll be all heated up and it'll be ready to be formed on top of the model. Okay, so the mouth guard material is now heated up, so we flip this over like this. We pull that little lever over, and I don't know if you can hear the air rushing in there. What happens now is, as you can see here, it's putting about 25 pounds per square inch of pressure on the mouth guard blank that's inside there. And what that's doing is that's forcing all of that softened material all around the model. And so that's what forms it around the teeth and in just a few seconds we'll be able to take this out and we'll have our mouth guard that's formed okay so here we have the mouth guards that are now formed to the models so the air has pushed it all down onto the model if i were to flip this over you'd see that it is formed right along the edges of that. There's no gap at all. This is what gives a custom fit mouth guard such a better fit than the boil and bite mouth guards that you'd get from the store. So now we've got to do is we've got to go and we've got to trim these up and actually make it look like a mouth guard. Okay, so here we have our finished mouth guards. Uh, they've all been trimmed and polished and we end up with the finished product. So this here on the inside, just to show you, this is the difference between a professionally made mouth guard and one of the boil and bite mouth guards that you might get at the uh, drugstore. If you were to look at that, and you'll see how well everything is fitted around the teeth. That is as close as you can get around your teeth. So this mouth guard is gonna stay in the mouth much better the uh, the kid's not going to chew on it as much or have a chance of it slipping out of the mouth. Um, and the main purpose of a mouth guard is a lot of people think it's just to stop chipping a tooth or anything like that. Mouth guards also will help prevent concussions. Because if you take a fall or if you get a hit and if your lower jaw slaps up against your upper teeth, it can do it with enough force that could cause a concussion. So they're very important from that safety aspect as well. So, now you've seen how they're made from start to finish. Hope you found it interesting.